Well, folks, we're three weeks from the midterms, and speculation about the 2020 race is already heating up. One name being bandied about for the Democrats is Massachusetts senator and librarian you're embarrassed to ask about puberty books, <laughs> Elizabeth Warren. Senator Warren's family has long told stories that they have some Native American heritage. Now, some people don't believe that, and his name is Donald Trump. We have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. Let's say I'm running against uh, Pocahontas. Pocahontas? Pocahontas. How about that? Pocahontas, Elizabeth Warren. Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Elizabeth Warren, sometimes referred to affectionately, of course, as Pocahontas. See, it may be racist, but it's affectionate because Trump has great affection for racism. <laughs> well, guess what? Guess what? Lay it on the line. Lay it on the line. Guess what? Elizabeth Warren is pushing back by rolling out something she calls a fact squad. You know you're a Democratic Harvard professor when that's the toughest name you could think of. <laughs> Was Dork Brigade taken? Well, today, the fact squad released this video. In the senator's genome, we did find five segments of Native American ancestry with very high confidence, where we believe the error rate is less than one in a thousand. Now, the president likes to call my mom a liar. What do the facts say? The facts suggest that you guys absolutely have a Native American ancestor in your pedigree. You heard them right. This test accurately reveals with a high confidence that Elizabeth Warren is running for president. Yeah, still. That's right. That we know. <laughs> that we know. Allegedly. Came back positive. Still, that DNA test video is pretty impressive. The only way it could have been more dramatic is if it were an episode of Maury. I'm going to end this right now. Yeah. You are the father. Yeah. He didn't know. He didn't know. That's when he found out. Yeah. Well, after years of mocking Elizabeth Warren, clearly the president must have had a lot to say about these test results. No, I have no. Who, who cares? You care. You're literally the only person who cares. In fact, you cared so much. You once offered a million dollars to charity if Senator Warren proved she was part Native American, a fact reporters reminded you of today. Mr. President, you said you paid one million dollars to charity. I didn't say that. I didn't. You better read it again. Oh, we don't have to read it. <laughs> Luckily enough. Luckily enough, we're going to have somebody read it for us. Let's say I'm debating Pocahontas, right? I promise you I'll do this. I will take, you know those little kits they sell on television for $2? Learn your heritage. We will take that little kit and say, but we have to do it gently. Because we're in the Me Too generation, so we have to be very gentle. Okay, I'm going to stop right there just to point out that Trump went out of his way to stuff a Me Too joke into the middle of his racist tirade. It's like he's making a turducken. <laughs> That's just all turd. <laughs> I I'm sorry, sir, you were being awful? I will give you a million dollars to your favorite charity, paid for by Trump, if you take the test and it shows you're an Indian, you know. And let's see what she does, right? I have a feeling she will say no. Well, Mr. President, she didn't say no, she said yes. But rumor has it, you don't know the difference. When, when, rumors, just rumors, when confronted about his million-dollar pledge this afternoon, he chickened out. If she gets the nomination in a debate where I was going to have her tested, I'll only do it if I can test her personally. Okay? That will not be something I enjoy doing either. Well, 
We don't have to wait for the president's DNA. He is 100% douche. <laughs> we'll be right back with Melissa McCarthy.